Hi, well, welcome to episode two of the Barn Door Build, uh, link below for episode one. Uh, the first episode was just an introduction to the bus, and I explained next I was going to strip it uh, to get it ready for the frame jig. So things didn't go quite as planned. Uh, I didn't completely strip the body. I decided to leave the doors and windows in it so I could straighten the body uh, to help with getting accurate measurements before I actually disassemble it. Uh, so what I did, I basically jacked the body out, put it on some planks and stands, removed all the uh, suspension, engine transmission, rolled the frame straightened underneath, and started building mounts. Uh, that's when I ran into the issue that the rear torsion beam, which was supposed to be my zero point, uh, what I thought would be the most accurate thing on the bus, uh, turns out to be four millimeters to the right, uh, two millimeters ahead on the right side, and there's two degrees of twist in it. Uh, it was built that way, uh, inspected it, the welds are all original, it's not bent, uh, that's the way it was built. These are very inaccurate, uh, the tolerances were low. So once I figured that out, uh, I, said, I couldn't get the front straight, couldn't figure out anything was be straight. Once I figured that out, I kind of got the frame straight. The frame is pretty good. Um, it was square, it X measures correctly and level. So I managed to mount it up with that, taking into consideration that the torsion beam was crooked. At that point, I decided not to build the whole frame jig. Uh, it's too hard to do to figure out where everything's supposed to be. Um, so I'm going to strip the body off before I do that. So what I did decide to do was leave all the doors and glass in. So once I had it up on the mounts, I could then straighten the body, get all my door gaps close, and, uh, and then take body measurements. Because uh, since this all body's coming off and coming apart, when I go to put it back, I want to make sure I have it accurate. Uh, so that's uh, the laser alignment system that came with this frame straightener allows me to attach targets throughout the vehicle uh, and measure those exactly uh, where they are. Which is a bit of an issue because everything I measured is, doesn't match. It's not symmetrical. Everything changes. Everything's crooked. <laughs> so it's basically trying to figure out what it should be. Uh, you know, they're probably plus or minus, you know, five, six millimeters when new. So uh, trying to figure out what the actual dimensions should have been is a little difficult. So once I had the bus up on the frame jig, I wanted to straighten the body out to get some, uh, some rough measurements from it. So the biggest issue uh, was the left side nose had dropped down over the frame. So I was able to jack that up, get the nose level with the frames. Next issue is these A pillars. The only thing that holds the bottom of them in place uh, it's basically the dog leg and the floor. Uh, the inner and outer balance holds a bit, but that also usually rusts away. So then you have no support at the bottom of these. Um, and of course, moving that in and out uh, adjusts the door gap here and also the alignment at the belt line. So I was able to use bracing and some straps uh, to pull those A pillars into position uh, so that the front doors would line up. So once I had the, the nose uh, leveled, the front door is fitting somewhat, uh, then I had to go onto the left side. Because most of that wall is disconnected at the bottom, the roof had sagged. So I pushed the roof up and the wall into position to keep the drip rail straight. And that gave me the correct length on that side uh, and squared up uh, the front and rear. So this side, the cargo door opening actually stayed square. So they actually fit fairly well. And then I was able to uh, check the measurements from the front of the B pillar uh, to the rear seam on both sides to make sure that they matched or were close. So now with the body basically straight, the doors fitting, I was then able to take the laser alignment system and uh, record some 3D positioning of data points around the bus um, at the belt line, at the drip rail, uh, different other areas. And this will make it much easier when I go to reassemble to have a, a rough idea where everything needs to go. So this is the, uh, the laser alignment system that came with this frame straightener. So normally how the system would work is you'd have a vehicle that was smashed. You'd have a chart of points to attach the targets to and the measurements. And you set it up and you'd, make, you'd bend the vehicle until it matches up all the targets. Right. 
So here, I'm a little different. I'm using the targets to gain position points of spots over the vehicle, uh, around the body, around the frame. Uh, the targets have clamps to go in holes, on bolts, on magnets, different things. So basically trying to get accurate measurements of what the vehicle should be when it goes back together. So I guess that's all I wanted to include in this video. Uh, next video, I'm going to be stripping everything off the body that that's removable. So all the glass, doors, fuel tanks, steering box, all that stuff off it, uh, and get it ready for actually dismantling the, the metal body. Uh, if you want to see that, please subscribe so you don't miss it. Uh, like the last video, I'm going to add a bunch of raw videos at the end of this. Uh, for those that are interested in some of the details, I'm going to do some video at the bottom of it uh, and around different areas that I didn't do on the last one. So I guess that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.